Hello and welcome to Method Tutorials. In this video series, we are looking at app customization. This tutorial will cover the general settings when you manage an app. I have taken the liberty to create a test app for us to demo with. Click the vertical ellipsis button and we'll select the Manage link. This brings us to the configurable settings of the app. Since this is an app I created, all the menu links are available for me to access. As you can see, it first opens up to all the screens for this app, which is only two screens. I want to take a look at the general settings. Here we go. Note the asterisk on the fields. Those indicate the fields that are required. The first setting allows you to choose an icon for your app. Selecting the drop down will give you a list of predefined icons you can use for your app. Currently, you cannot upload custom icons. You are restricted to the ones available. Below that is the name of the app. This is the name that appears when the app is viewed on the dashboard. The description of the app is the info text you see on the app itself. We like to keep the description straight and to the point, unlike some of my videos. Next is a drop down to choose the base table. Your app will normally focus around one main table. For example, the contacts app is used to manage your contacts in the contacts table. This doesn't mean, however, you are unable to access other tables. Not at all. But a base table is needed when configuring the record summary and the app ribbons for your app. We haven't covered those yet, but we will get to them. Up next are screens you can set for specific functions within your app. This will set the start screen of your app, the first screen the app will go to when a user opens it up. Remember in the last video, the contact list screen had that star on it to indicate it was the first screen to open? This is where you set that. You can also set screens for the user preferences, viewing a record, and creating a new record. Although these last three are optional, these two here, screen for viewing record and screen for new records, they are required if you set up an app ribbon. Remember that when you're making an app ribbon, because it's kind of important. And that's it. If you have any other questions, leave a comment on YouTube. Check out our documentation, post on our forums, or you can tweet us at MethodCRM. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.